the liver, as I mentioned, also is a source of gluconeogenesis. Gluconeogenesis is creating new glucose. And so when we take protein and break it down and create a glucose out of it, it's called gl gluconeogenesis. That's the purpose of the liver. The purpose of the liver is to create glucose. And there's a hormone that's involved that's called glucagon, and which increases the blood sugar and insulin lowers our blood sugar. And that's why we use insulin in diabetes, right? And so here's the caveat. If you are doing a ketogenic diet and you're eating a humongous amount of protein, you will stall your ketosis. The reason for that is you're creating more glucose. You're converting the protein to glucose and they're converting some of the fat to glucose. And people don't realize that, right? And so you have to actually be careful how much protein and fat you eat as well, even though uh, you're eating a low carbohydrate. And typically when we talk about a ketogenic diet, it's less than 50 grams um, per day. Uh, some people will just need less than that even, actually 20 grams uh, of carbohydrates too as well. For those who ever have done a ketogenic diet for, for a very long time and, and were very successful in restricting carbohydrates, when you eat carbohydrates, you feel different. You feel, you feel more energetic right away. That's because it's so it's easy for the body to create excessive amounts of ATP, uh, the, the energy molecule, right?